This baby was admitted to the cardiac intensive care unit with severe metabolic acidosis. She was diagnosed with interrupted aortic arch, VSD, and our ICU team stabilized her with prostaglandins and inotropes. Okay, this is a newborn baby with interrupted aortic arch and a ventricular septal defect with a significant amount of inlet extension. Uh, there's the usual amount of left ventricular alpha tract uh, obstruction just below the aortic valve. Ascent and aorta measures about 5 millimeters, which is small, but uh, I think adequate for a two vegetable repair. So we're going to repair the interrupted arch and close the large ventricular septal defect. The, the baby is certainly at increased risk Thanks. for heart block because of the in the, the inlet extension of the VSD. Right, you guys, Danny? Yep, thank you. Okay, incision. <clears throat> 20. 20. <laughs> there is a thymus. Yeah. There is a thymus. They're kind of. Well, that's it. We could, probably, we could probably seal it. Do we have a double um, cannula set up for aortic? Are you working on that for me? Or? You want to go on this side of it so it moves over, or this side of it just push it over? Single, single arterial and the MPA. Okay, the, your pressure will come up in a second. I'm, I've just got the RPA. We've got to get the LPA, and then you'll be you'll be much better. Okay, George. Yeah, we're holding my heart. They're on two Venus now. But please, of course I'm burning a black pie. Make it snappy. First, just for related because we're manipulating. Sure, Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're going to put an arterial cannula. Thank you. Okay. Let's see the. Can we see the arterial cannula? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put that second or two in. That's always a nice mm -hmm. proposition.
safer thing to do when, once we're depressurized. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Everything will be big enough? So your low flowing head. Okay, arterial cannula is coming out of the MPA. Out. We took the venous cannula out of the main pulmonary artery. So your venous cannula is now. Okay. The ductal tissue goes right up to the tip of the tip of the It's very hard to keep it. I pulled the aortic back as far as I can safely pull it back. Sorry, you can give the pleach. Our goal here is to arrange the clamps to allow us to achieve a tension-free anastomosis between the ascending and descending aorta and resect enough of this ductal tissue so that we get a, a secure anastomosis without losing our left subclavian artery. Once we've completed the anastomosis, we reinforce the superior and inferior edges to prevent bleeding from the areas under tension. Body again. Okay, clamps on the aorta. Pleage is on. Cardioplegia on. Vent on. Yes. Lower the head of the table and roll towards Frank. The tricuspid valve obstructs our view of the upper edge of this VSD. We divide the septal leaflet to improve our exposure, and you can see this provides much better visualization of that upper margin of the VSD. We use the endoscope to document the closure of the ventricular septal defect and then proceeded to repair the tricuspid valve and the atrial septal defect with running suture lines. Real warm. Ventilate. Okay, reduce your flow. Clamps off. Pull back up and back on. The child's heart recovered well and we were able to separate from bypass on modest inotropic support with an open chest. 
The child's chest was closed the next day, and we performed an echo to confirm that the VSD and ASD were closed. We measured no residual arch gradient and ensured that the child was neurologically intact. We were then able to wean the baby off the ventilator and extubate by the sixth postoperative day. We then commenced feedings, uh, initially using a feeding tube and then advancing to PO feeds to the point where we could take out the feeding tube on the ninth postoperative day. And by the next day, the child was ready to go home.